look at you with your Corrali hat on. You're a right old Corrali fanboy, ain't you? I love Corrali. Yeah. I love. I'll tell you what I love about this hobby. What's that? Now, I want to tell you a story. Ooh. So, do you remember? Go on. It was probably about three years ago. Me and you, yeah. we were uh, we we're after work. After and we work. got out. What were they? They were like Koyosho monster truck things. Oh, crikey. Can you uh, remember that? Yeah. They, they're not the most elegant bits of kit in the world, were they? Mm. But me and you, we had, I think we had about six nickel batteries each. And we basically just drove these really bad RC cars around a really simple track for what seemed like hours. Yeah. That was hilarious. That was actually good fun, wasn't it? I don't even really think they had oil shocks in, they were friction shocks, and they were bouncing around all over the show, yeah. but it was a laugh, wasn't it? And uh, in the really early days, can you remember we used to do the kids' parties, and we, and we did uh, wedding receptions and stuff like that. With the RC cars. With the RC cars. We did. We and did. We, we ran the uh, Kyosho Sand Masters, was it? Yeah, Kyosho Sand Masters. They did a re-release of them. Um, I, I think they mentioned that about 10. a month ago. Huh? They've got done it again about a month ago. Really? Yeah. Again? Well, again. There's a oh, re-release of the re-release. Is it uh, a ready-to-run thing again? I think or? it is a ready-to-run. It's pretty much... It's like the ones that we had, but a Mark II. Ooh. Yeah, they were all right. They, they were, were good little pretty good. beginner's car, weren't they? But then when we got into our proper club racing, the MO3s, mm. our first visit to the Iconic Cup. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. Amazing. Um, but, as we always complain about, you just don't get the time when you go to these competitions, no, do you? Right. So, mm. we ventured out onto the grass. Mm -hmm. FTX Vantages yeah, were good. Yeah, that was fun, that was fun. But the DR8s, yeah. that is where we really sort of, came, they came into a zone. We had exactly the same cars and hours and hours and hours spent with those yeah. cars. And I remember when you bought the D, uh, FTX DR8 around my house and... I just couldn't, we could just couldn't believe the power of the brushless technology because it was kind of new to us. Wasn't it, it was, wasn't it? We, cause we took in it a out buggy. And we did the old um, speed run, so that's the first oh, car. I was just, I remember you just bit first car we ever did 60 mile an hour with, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, yeah, yeah. Um, and we were kind of hooked. It was like, oh, is this, what's pe this is what people have been going on about, right? Yes. And then the penny dropped, and then, well, you know, it kind of went from there. So Ian rocked up yep. at one of the Sundon Bash sessions with the Team Corrali Radix 4. He did. He did do that, yeah. And then he went, have a go at that. And I had a go. I went, oh. And I went to you, have a go at that. And you went, oh. Oh. And the following week, funnily enough, we had a Radix 4. And it, it, yeah, it was leaps above because at the time actually you had the armor tally no the armor typhon wasn't it yeah great in a straight line brilliant yeah straight pretty line. good at a skate park as well very good at a skate park but around the track against the radix no competition waste of time complete waste of time the radix was just next level compared next to that however mm. from that point on we've kind of gone our separate ways a little bit haven't we i mean Oh, what, racing wise, racing wise, yeah. Because well, yeah. you you really enjoy your your touring cars, and I kind of yeah. I come along to it, but it's not really my my bag. And I like my uh, Tamiya trucks, and you just won't even. Oh, no, you won't not, even get that's involved not at for all. me. That's not for me. Um, yeah, but but the thing is, we we do so many different classes. It makes great content for all these, you know. It does. All the punters out I'm there. I say, if there's any classes that you want us to try and do. Over time, over the year, we might be able to get hold of them and, and have a go. At least one of us could yeah, pick exactly. up the class, Loads can't planned. we? Um, but look, the elephant in the room, or two of the elephants in the room, the Corelli Spark XB6, right? We've got two of them now, well, haven't we? The thing is, we got this one. Yeah. We looked at it, mm. and we were like, that is, that's the Radix 4, but better. Yeah. And straight away, you were like, I was on the phone to Rochester RC. I went, guys, guys, I need one. And they went, no problem. When? I went, now, now. And they sent it out. And there it is. There it is. So, the red car cool. and the blue car had a race. Indeed. Well, we haven't raced them yet, but we will do. And the, uh, the plan is, over the summer, we are going to just race these things, aren't we? You and I, we're going to just 
hopefully just have a bit of a laugh with them really. We just need to get our stick time up because yeah, exactly, yeah. last month, hour and a half was all I did in a whole month. You did half an hour. I did, yeah, yeah. It's um, um that's not whereas good. in one outing with a, a bag of batteries we can get nearly two hours out of one of these yeah. cars with a battery yeah. we've got. And so we only run them on 4S. I, you, I'm not going to take this to the car killer. Do not do that. I'm not interested in taking This it. is going to be, the DR8s I'll take to the car killer. Mm. All the, in fact, all the other ones. I think this, for this year at least, this is going to be um, my grassroots car. And I think if we go to Gatwick mm. and race these, Providing we've both got the same car, yeah. I don't think it matters that everyone else beats us with their pro buggies and well, they probably their will. They probably Is it a techno will. or Tekken? Tech? Uh, yeah, techno. Um, they're the associated. So associated. Yeah, they, I mean they're incredibly expensive cars. These these retail around about the three hundred pounds mark. With <laughs> motor, All ESC, yeah. controller, yeah, and they wheels. I know oh, because some of those kits don't even come with wheels. Exactly that. But you know, I mean. What's there not to like? I mean, it, it's built like a tank, you know. It's hardcore, mate. You know, I'm looking forward to giving it a run. I am as well. I just, I just want the weather to improve just a little bit, just a little bit. I was out the other day with a dog, right? And um, we live in a lovely area. We've got the downs on our doorstep. And the downs are clay. And normally it drains off really well. Flooded like you wouldn't believe. Really? Yeah. Every, everywhere we go, the ground is just... It hasn't recovered from what has been quite a stormy couple of months, really. It's been a very stormy couple of months, yeah. Bit of a naff start to 2024. Yeah, yeah, but, you know, I think we've got to get used to it with mm. global warming and all that, unfortunately. But if we do get a bit of global warming this yeah. summer, can you remember? It was 2022. Ah, the, the summer fields, the of fields 2022. Were yellow and beige. They were so as this as this table yellow and beige and yeah. we had our mega dust fest at the school that that's was right. brilliant that was good yeah we set up a track that we were working our that's what summer. i want again that's what i want i well, want that it's gonna happen barbecue yeah. little picnic box an ice box yeah. with some cold drinks in it uh, maybe a few scotch eggs yeah i'm up for that yeah i had um i had a runny scotch egg the other day did you yeah, they did a running one. Um, I was very disappointed. It was a little bit like eating cold snot, you know, dripping, yeah. dripping down your throat like. The thing is, I went into that. You won't know this because you can't grow a proper beard. But runny eggs and beards, yeah. in fact, beards and burgers, beards and pizza, beards and any sort of messy food. Mm. No, that's not good. No, I'd imagine that gets a bit, you know. I, I could be like crusty. A couple of hours later, and I'd be like, I could smell burgers. <laughs> oh man! Oh, man. Did you ever left, pick it out and eat left it for a bit, beard or something? Nah, or? Just left a bit of ketchup in there. Oh, wow. Um. So look, it's a bit of a. I suppose it's a bit of a waffly one. This one, really, isn't it? You know, because we ain't been out racing. When we go out racing, we've got loads to talk about. But until hey. Got some new tyres. You have, but I've put them in your box, so oh, right. they're out of the way. But that's for the LC Racing event that's coming up. Now, you are going to be running the PG Tips car number the PG one. PG Tips one. I'm going to be running the PG Tips car number two. Indeed. Um, my car is a rally car. Yeah. Can't wait. Never done rally before. No, it's going to be very good. It's going to be very good. There's loads of people going. Loads of people. You know, the content we are going to get for you is going to be off the chart, mate. It it's is going to be, going to be amazing, especially yes. now you've got your new phone. The yes, footage on your new the phone footage on the new phone nice. is very good. And hopefully we've got enough money in our Buy Me A Pie fund. Um, in actual fact, we have. We have. great. Excellent. And we I'm need get the to mic. get that mic. We're going to save the thank yous for another video, we though. Will, but yes. thank you. Yes, already. if you've already donated to the cause, it means a lot to, to us. So we've now got enough to get a mic, which is fantastic. So yeah. we'll hopefully get that before then. And, and yeah. Mr. Green, legend. Why? Why? Well, we did our little video about the iconic carp. Yeah. And mm. I mentioned that I want to be running the MO5. Mm. So I wanted to get one, build it up from scratch. Mm. He said, I've got one on the shelf, gathering dust, never going to be used ever again. It needs ball racing. But, have it. 
What a legend. And he just sent you it? He sent it to me. Turned up the other day. I couldn't believe it. Some of our subscribers, man, they, they are brilliant, right? Amazing. The guys at RC Bearings as well. Yeah. rcbearings.co.uk. Oh, I saw that email coming. I had a little look. Yeah. yeah. Um, so obviously we, that's where we get all our bearings for, isn't it? Yes. So you must support them. So that car is going to be fully ball raced, ready to go. And... We can say it now, can't we? But we've booked into all the rounds of the Iconic Cup that we want to do. So go ahead, book in, because we've already it's done open. it. It's open we've now. We've already done it. Hey, can they, won't turn, what? can they turn us away? Or? Within the first day, yeah. I think 92 people had already subscribed that to was for, um, for Mendip. Mendip. I think reason being is it's very unfortunate that Mendip might have its last... Uh, racing season, you know, yeah, this year. So lot of to so. go down. So we we are going to go there, um, and we are going to get an amazing video, which is going to be a really good keepsake for the members um, of of that club. I might. I know I said I'm going to run my MO5, but I might actually. Uh, I might need to borrow your car for spares, but I'm going to get um, I'm going to get a MO3 up and running as well. Cool. And. <laughs> I'm going to make it a wet car. So yeah. if it rains, I'll pull out the MO, MO3. I'm mm. going to literally wrap the whole thing in cling film. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we need some tyre warmers. Maybe we should get uh, buy me a... Co- buy, me a <sighs> buy me a pie. Buy me a pie. Next thing, tyre warmers. Tyre warmers. warmers. That is a good shout, actually. Because yeah. we're going to be doing warmers. some outdoor racing this year. Yeah, we will. Or if, any, or if anyone's got any lying around and they, they're just gathering dust, you know. Donated we'll to give the you course. a little shout out. We'll send you some stickers, course. whatever. What kind of stickers do you want? Do we get just black ones? I said to get just black ones. You're like, nah, get all the different colours. Well, we, we, we like the different colours, don't we? I only ever really want to use the black ones. On, on the paint scheme that we've got, where it goes red to yellow, red, orange, yellow, white, mm. the black ones look perfect. Oh, right. The red to orange, yellow stickers look good, mm. maybe on a different colour car. Um. Yeah, what do we do? Just black, or should we go for multicolours again? Let them decide. What do you want us to do? Because we're going to be placing an order probably next week. Yes. It needs to be done, because we need to get them here in time for yes. the MKGP at Milton Keynes. Oh, do you know what? There's so much That's going on. That's a three-day so weekend of racing. Yeah. I had to book a day off of work for that. Yes. Did you book a day off of work? Um, well, I haven't told them yet. You need to do it, boss. I know. I haven't told them, but they were hopefully they won't watch this. They won't know. About they won't know about this. But I need to book. I've, I've booked the day off for that, yeah. um, which I'm very much looking forward to. Yeah. Well, there you go. Look, I'm seriously in love with these cars, so I guess we should. I'm gonna take this home and I'm gonna stroke it before I put it bed. You gonna put it on the shelf? What do a Gavin from mm. RC Kicks? No, I'm not gonna stick it on the shelf like him. This is going racing. on the floor in the garage.